Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. I hope you've had an incredible week. Um, if you saw any of my videos about a certain brand of a boot uh, that I ran into issues with, I began discovering and looking into alternatives out there. And so I had actually two subscribers uh, had messaged me months ago about a certain brand of boot that they loved, better quality, higher end, um, and that brand was Grant Stone. So I had never heard of Grant Stone before. Um, and so I did a little bit of research and ended up getting a, a pair of boots from them. And I want to tell you, there aren't too many times in life uh, that I get really excited. Um, probably not a good thing, um, but not a lot of times I'm super pumped about getting something. And so I got these in about a week or so ago and kind of wanted to go over everything about this brand that I've noticed, um, from presentation to quality of goods to really everything. Um, so let's get started. So let's get into first the presentation. Uh, I know some people don't care about presentation, but I, this is part of what I think makes this brand um, so impressive. Um, so a really nice box here. I mean, really nice. This isn't like a cheap shoe box that you normally get. Um, some nice little kind of notes in here. Uh, thank you from them. So big shout out to Josh who packed up my order. Love it. Um, and kind of a little bit of history of uh, Grant Stone, how they break in, how they're worn, all that good stuff. So love the presentation. Little foam to protect the boots, which I think is great. Um, and before we get into these, I'll tell you, these are the Brass Boot Bronze Rough Suede. So I looked on their site and said, I got to get new boots for when I wear denim and that kind of stuff. And I saw these and literally fell in love. Um, and I just think these are some of the coolest boots. Um, and I'll show you guys here that I've ever seen. I, I don't think I've ever seen a boot kind of quite like these. And I love them. So I'll take these out and just kind of show you how the presentation is. Let me move these to the side here. And so what they do is instead of the, the, the I don't want to say inexpensive paper that you normally get, they actually have a fabric divider. Um, and they also give you two uh, boot bags um, with their logo, which I think is super. I mean, this is high-end stuff. This is really nice stuff um, for what you get. So there's the second one you get. They also throw in, which I thought was super dope, um, a little Grant Stone. But look at this. A little shoehorn slash bottle opener uh, that they also give you. I mean, what a cool little thing. And then also an extra pair uh, of shoelaces. Um, I've read some people didn't like these shoelaces. I think they've been great for me, so I have no issues. Um, but presentation for me... I mean, they got you excited about their product before you even tried them on. So, with that out of the, with let's get these out of the way. Let's get into the boots themselves. Uh, so these are again the brass boot, bronze rough suede, and the um, Floyd last. So I didn't. I'm very unfamiliar with these. So I'm not really sure their lasts and all that. I talked to them. They said, go down half a size from your normal size. My athletic shoe's a, a, a nine and a half. Um, my dress shoe's probably closer to a nine. Um, and for the Magnani's I wear, I actually wear uh, their eight, which I believe then somehow equates to a nine. I don't know. It just works. So long story short, uh, I went to an eight and a half with these. Um, these are Goodyear Welt construction, and if you watch my other videos, um, I'm familiar with Goodyear welts. Um, it's basically stitched around, and these can also be recrafted. I don't know if um, Grant Stone recrafts. I'll have to look into that, and maybe we'll do that down the road. But anyway, so Floyd Last, uh, this has what they call the Rough Mohawk um, Suede from Charles Steed, full grain uh, leather lining, 360 degree reverse welt. That's what I was showing you guys before. Uh, antique brass. 
eyelets and speed hooks, uh, tanned insole welt and midsole, cork filler with steel shank, um, full grain leather heel counters, lug rubber sole. I think the only um, thing you have to get used to is how hefty these boots are. Um, I think these are an incredibly made boot. Um, I think for the style and function, they, they're really in a class of their own. This is what I would say is very close to the Alden uh, Indie boot. Uh, and an Indie boot, if you know, they're in the $600 range. This one prices out at $395. Um, so I've worn these a couple times. I actually cleaned the soles last night to make sure they look new again. I absolutely love these. And I'm going to tell you, I took out, I have um, shoe trees I put in here. I just want to take it out. The heft of this boot, um, even without a shoe tree in it, is incredible. Um, the quality, the craftsmanship is really, really good. Um, and obviously, you may, may or may not like uh, this kind of nap on these boots, but again, incredible craftsmanship, incredible details. And again, I'm not being paid um, for this. I, like I said, I picked these up on my own accord. Um, just some really, really, really cool boots. Um, I'm not going to show you how they wear on feet because people always say, I don't wear my pants that way. I don't wear my jeans that way. So I'm going to put pictures up of from directly from Grant Stone of how they uh, style these. But I've worn these with dark denim a couple times, and I actually have a couple pair of charcoal um, wool corduroys that I've worn these with as well. I just love these boots. Um, I just think it's super high quality. You guys know me. I will report back in six months and probably a year of how these are worn. What I wanted was a boot that can really dig into the snow. I'm in Cleveland, uh, in Ohio, so I wanted something that could handle the weather, um, and these just have done a great, great job. It snowed here the last three days. I worn these twice during the snow and once other time. And again, I tried to keep these super clean. Um, I, I lightly waterproof these. I did not get into a real heavy waterproofing at these. Um, again, I'll show you the detail of these guys. But I absolutely love these boots. So while my other reviews, they failed. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know how great these boots are. So again, these are just a kind of a real quick review um, of Grant Stone's, again, their brass boot in rough suede. What I didn't know, I didn't know anything about these guys, but they also make women's. Um, they also make very casual, very dressed sneakers. So I'm definitely going to start getting uh, some more of my shoes from these guys. I love it. And you can even see like uh, the details of how they market and sizing. I mean, it's just super cool. Um, this is like what you see in like an Edward Green or John Lobb or like more of a handwritten. Um, but again, really like these, these boots, uh, all leather. So if you're on the fence about trying to look for a new pair of boots or shoes, I really, like I said, really have liked Grand Stone. I've worn these, I think, three times now, um, and they've held up really great. What I'll probably end up doing is getting heel stays here uh, the kind of or not stays but heel protectors to kind of keep them from wearing down but absolutely and you can hear this um i absolutely love these boots they're definitely like i said hefty but beautiful boots um i would go down at least half a size for sizing and i have a narrow ish foot uh not narrow um and these fit me great i wear them with a more of a boot sock not a dress sock and they've been great. But overall, just want to kind of give you guys my quick thoughts of Grant Stone. Um, love them. I will definitely be a repeat customer. I love the quality. I love the look. Um, and I love that um, they're in Michigan for me, so I can get them in a, a day or two, which is great. But if you haven't checked them out, check out Grant Stone, G-R-A-N-T-S-T-O-N-E. Um, and again, check out these boots. These are part of a limited edition run. I just thought these were such cool-looking boots. Um, and it's nothing... Uh, like I said, I have or own, or, uh, but with dark denim, again, I wore them with uh, charcoal pants. I've worn them, I'm going to wear them with navy pants this week, but I think this color is very, very cool, does a lot of neat things uh, and wears well. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, please like if you're into, we talk mostly golf, but we do a lot of other things like this, um, fragrances, men's clothing, 
um, industrial tooling, lawn mowers, all that good stuff, this is a good place to be. So certainly we appreciate if you subscribe and like this, uh, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.